hi guys and welcome back how are you all doing we are now running into the sixth week where somebody has been ill in this house so apologies that the videos have been few and far between this week but i did put an asda in at george because i needed some bedding and one of you guys actually recommended because i was slating a primark's bedding last time because it's gone so thin and it used to be so good and really good at being washed as well but yeah the last one wasn't very impressed with so i ordered some from george and then also whilst i was on the website i couldn't help but go to the women's section and have a look the women's section on the actual website is so much better than the stores i've got a big store that's probably about 40 minutes away and it has a massive clothing section and i can never find anything this nice in there so yeah i'm really excited to show you what i've got so let's get into it so the first item is this checked coat and i just love the creams and beiges and the tiny little bit of blue and it's very very subtle well it's kind of like a bluey gray sort of color actually and when i went online i actually picked this up because it was only 20 pounds and when it come i did think it was going to be a little bit thicker like it's not lined on the inside so i suppose it's actually more like a shacket than it is a coat but i just really loved the look of this i just feel like if you had like a hoodie that was cream underneath got the hood over the top it would look really nice with a pair of jeans or if you've got some like really cool joggers even if you had like um like a jumper in this color which i think i did have on on the try on clip i'm having to do this on a separate day because we ended up going out for a really wet walk when i did the try on so um our well my brother-in-law rang and was like oh we're going on this like gruffalo walk do you want to come so it was like yeah definitely the kids will love it um and my sister-in-law had baked cake so it was like yeah definitely she's such a good baker so we went and literally it was beautiful weather and then when we got there it started raining and i mean tipping it down we got absolutely soaked through so it was like we found this little shelter bit stayed in there for like 10 minutes and was like right okay let's just go to the cafe so we didn't go to the cafe and by the time the car park ticket was running out and we're doing the cafe it went all sunshiny again so yeah just our look but yeah um i didn't get to film this part of the video so yes anyway that was a long what's it for explaining that but yeah basically tried them on the other day and i think i did try it on with a jumper this color and i just really really liked it the tag actually says it should have been 48 pounds which i definitely want to pay 48 for it just because it's not lined i would want like more of a coat for that price um but yeah it's really nice to just kind of throw over the top when it's a little bit chillier or you're just kind of like nipping in and out of the car so if you go into the shops it's always hot in the shops at this time of year then this i feel like would be a good sort of like coat jacket for that um yeah and for 20 pounds i think that's really good so the next item is the coziest cardi and it's this cream cable knit and um, it's a little bit longer and it also has a tie waist as well now i actually don't have anything like this in my wardrobe and i saw it i saw it was 18 pounds and i thought do you know what i don't want to go primark and get just like a cheap cardi to see me through winter but i really like this one and i thought this would just be nice for like knocking about the house do you know when you want to be like chilling but you still want to feel a little bit put together i thought this would be the cardi for that to be honest so yeah went for it and i really liked it it did feel really cozy um it's really soft i got it in the eight to ten because it's one of those things isn't it that it's it's stretchy um and for 18 pounds i did think it was really good because i love the color of this i feel like it'll go with everything that that's in my wardrobe i've got some like camely colored joggers that are chilling so i thought that would be nice over the top and then i even thought coming into spring do you know when it's um still a little bit cool but too hot for a coat i thought going for some nice country walks in this over some like leggings with some nice chunky boots on would be nice and then the next thing I got is a little bit of something different for me. So it's a co ord set. Um, and I actually didn't realise that I'd got the skirt as well. So I haven't actually tried this on. But I'll tell you anyway what I think of it. Um, the top is this lovely. It's kind of like in between like a khaki and a beige. Love the colour. Love the ribbed. Love the little buttons on here. Now the only issue with this is. I felt like I couldn't lift my arms up because if I lifted my arms up, I feel like I'd be flashing everybody. It's um, It was just a little bit too cropped for my liking. 
I prefer something a little bit longer, especially now my mom. I feel like I need that like extra coverage because I'm always like twisting, turning, picking the girls up, stretching, playing. You know what it's like. Um, um, it's a really good price. It was only seven pounds. To be fair, maybe if I'd like sized up, it would have been better. What size did I go for? Yeah, small, eight to ten. To be fair, my shoulders aren't very broad. I'm having troubles at the minute. I think obviously I've changed shape because of being pregnant. Uh, and I'm still breastfeeding and I don't have very broad shoulders so even this dress it's kind of like coming off the shoulders a little bit but I need the extra room for the front do you know what I mean I need like a 10 for the front but like an 8 for the width so yeah I'm struggling to find like more like fancier or crop tops that like suit me and fit me properly so although I love this one it just wasn't quite right for me and then I didn't realize I ordered the skirt that was seven pounds by the way and the skirt was also seven pounds supposed to be 14 again in that lovely color and would be great if you were just like chilling around the house I was actually thinking these two with some like thick black tights and some chunky boots to like go out in in the winter however again I think what's is the skirt in a small yeah I didn't realize I had even ordered the skirt so I think it just come with I don't know if it come with it or yeah I don't know what I did but anyway I ordered a small definitely would have needed a medium because I, I can just tell by looking at it you'd see my little kangaroo pouch in this um and it also has a slit up there which I don't know with it being a mini and having a split it might be too short I mean might be okay with some thick tights but I'm not sure that I'd feel like 100% comfortable in it so yeah I think I'll send that one back then I was a little bit well I was gonna say I was a little bit naughty but not really because I've decided this month that I'm gonna just have a bit of extra extra budget to spend on some work clothes because I'm going back to work in January I'm not looking forward to it because obviously being at home with the girls is like my best thing ever and yeah I thought well I'll just have a little bit of extra money get a few new things in my wardrobe because I'm definitely not going to fit into what I was wearing like before because the last time I was properly in the office was before I had my first one because of, you know, COVID and everything and because of lockdown. So we was actually working from home. So, yeah, I was like 20, it's like four years ago, which is crazy. So I would have been 25. I would have been in my mid-20s and I hadn't had two babies at that point. So, yeah, I'm a very different shape. And I did try one of my dresses on that was like a little bit looser, but it's still just, it just clung in the wrong places. So I thought, yeah, have a little bit of extra money this month. Treat yourself to some new clothes, like work clothes. Um, so I ended up picking these beige trousers up. Now, you guys will know, if you've watched any of my videos before, how much I struggle to find trousers that fit me. Um, especially at the moment and ordering online, it can be a real pain. So I got these in a size 10. I could have maybe gone up to a 12. But I'm thinking when I go back to work, I'm moving a little bit more. I might just lose a few more pounds. Um, they were only £16 and they fit lovely on the leg. I love the, just kind of the plain beige, like there's nothing too fancy about them. They've got this lovely button, which I really like with this coloured trouser. Better than like a black button or like a stark dark brown one. Um, and yeah, I really loved them when they were on. Also elasticated waist, so just comfy for sitting in the office all day and I thought well I'd go to the office I'd put like a nice cream thick jumper on some of my well my cream mules however actually when I tried it on I think I tried them on with heels and I liked the lift that I, they had in them because I have quite short legs um however I don't know maybe I could roll them up because I do like a little bit of ankle on show do you know what I mean like if I'm wearing trousers I just feel like it helps I think they say that doesn't help elongate the leg but I feel like it does for some reason like anyway i'm probably just you know i'm not like a fashionista or anything so yeah probably don't know what i'm talking about but that's just what i prefer on myself and yeah i did really like these and i'm going to definitely keep these for going back into the office because i just think i've got loads of things that they'll go with and i think even just with like a smart white shirt they look really nice and talking of more workwear i ordered this dress and it was only 10 pounds because it was in the sale and i just I just thought, oh, it's just like a classic office dress. It's midi length, which I'm loving right now. I love the fact that it's button up detail. It's supposed to be £20. It also has puff sleeves. However, I don't know if it's only because they had an eight, but I ordered an eight and it was a little bit too tight for me. You can see, show you like where the buttons sort of like zigzag because it's tight. So that's what happened in this dress. But I feel like if I got it in a 10 or a 12, then it would have been a really lovely dress. And just to throw over like a blazer, just my normal office shoes. 
I just like stuff in the morning when I'm getting ready for work, particularly because I'll have two girls to get ready now. Stuff that I could just throw on, I know it's going to look smart and it's going to last for years. Just timeless pieces. I was totally swayed by this dress because this was also in the sale. I think it was £10. Let me have a look actually how much this was. Um, I kept, yeah, the sale was really swaying me. They always have really good stuff in that as to sale. So if you've not checked it out, definitely. See, obviously it's like not, they have like the opposite seasons in, but sometimes it's worth saving, isn't it, for summer. Um, anyway, so yeah, this was £10 as well. That's why I picked it up. Because <laughs> I do love a polka dot. And again, I got it in an eight. So yeah, I don't know whether I was just wishful thinking or what. And I thought, again, for the office, but I thought maybe I could wear it with a black, um, like, polo neck, like, long-sleeved. Um, and just throw a blazer over the top. So I really love this dress. However, what I didn't realise was it has got, I'm showing you the back, It this tie bit got quite like a low cut in it um which i suppose would be okay if i was wearing a black polo neck but my idea for the office was black polo neck and blazer and i tried it on with a couple of my blazers and it just didn't work but i think it's because it's a little bit more of a it is really more of a summer dress isn't it i mean i'd wear this on holiday you know some nice tan sandals and stuff and yeah so i feel like this might be a keeper for next summer rather than like wear into the office so yeah I, unfortunately it can't come out of the office clothes budget this dress but I did really like it again I think it would have fitted me a little bit better if it was in the size up it wasn't necessarily pulling tight because this is elasticated but um I felt like the polka dots were slightly stretched what they should have been but still very very comfortable um and yeah just a very lovely dress I just love how it's I love how these sorts of dresses are, um, they've got like the underlay bit, haven't they, like the underdress, and then there's like a little bit longer on the top, so it's a little bit sheer, so it gives you a little bit more coverage, um, but still being a little bit sexy, do you know what I mean, without being like too much, so yeah, this is the sort of dress that I like in the summer. And then I have been trying absolutely everywhere to get brown leggings, and I've just had a look on my phone, because you know, I don't mind the colour purple, but it's not like a colour that I go for. And I thought, why have I ordered purple exercise leggings? But um, anyway, they were supposed to be chocolate coloured, which is a shame because I did try them on and they were lovely. These were £12.50 and they were a really thick pair of leggings. Again, I probably should have sized up to the medium, but it's always difficult for me to tell because I feel like some supermarket clothing does run a little bit bigger. So I ended up going for the small, but you could definitely see my pouch on the side. Um, but yeah, really good quality. And I would never have thought of um, Asda for exercise wear at all. I'd never, never ever shop there for that. But because I've been so... Well, I've been struggling so much to find brown leggings. I, you know, I was typing it in. The pair that I actually wanted from there were sold out. So then I saw these ones and I thought, well, for £12.50, it doesn't matter if they're exercise leggings or not. I'll still wear, like, I was thinking, this cardigan with, you know, over the top. However, they've come and they are purple, which is such a shame. But they are the, is it the tickled pink? Yeah, they're the tickled pink ones. And they do have a really nice mesh bit um in the leg as well so if you are looking for some exercise leggings and you do like purple then i would recommend these ones oh it's just such a shame they're not chocolate because if they were they would have been perfect 12 pound 50 for a pair of sports leggings i feel like it's unheard of i feel like they're at least 18 21 pounds at the moment right so that's all the clothes so the next bits that i got were actually what i was shopping for so i needed some sheets for my girl's bed so i've moved my youngest into a single bed with a guard on the side because she's just not getting on with the cot it's waking her up she moves quite a lot in the night you know she's at that age now where she's rolling and stuff and she's getting her leg and her arm caught in it and yeah it's just she's just not happy and I found that with my first as well like neither of my girls particularly liked being in the cot so she's moved to a single bed with a guard so she's nice and safe um with that so obviously I needed to get some new bedding so I got some sheets so I got her a nice light pink one that was only four pounds fitted sheet really nice I've already whacked it on because um the one that we had well with sickness and things you know <laughs> so I can't show you because I've already taken it out of the package 
Um, I think I might have an overlay, I'll put that in if I have. And then I ordered a ombre sheet, which should have been like a pink and lilac, pale pink and lilac. However, this kind of like blue green tie dye one has come, but unfortunately, I don't think it's gonna go in my girls' rooms because they're all pink. Mind you, they've got rainbows in with this sort of colour, but I just know it's one of those things, although I won't say it'll like sort of irritate me a little bit that it doesn't match with their bedding. Uh, but yeah this was five pounds so a really good price and i think the ombre one was five pounds as well i think just the warehouse picker has just picked the wrong one up which is you know i get it because they are very close and this is what i um well this is what initially got me ordering off the website this is the problem with me like i like buy one thing and then end, end up buying loads so it doesn't even have to be an expensive thing i think before in one of my home bargain sales it's like a 30p wax mat and then that was it i was like off oh, buying loads of like home stuff well this was it this time and this is for my daughter's room and it's the cutest bed set ever so it's this woodland duvet set it was 10 pounds which is so good and it's reversible so you can either have it like all woodlandy or you can have it like pink and then just like fold it back and have a little bit of woodland on show there so i'm gonna see what it looks like in a bedroom but i just do really love these woodland animals and on canva which is like an app online which most like i know a lot of youtubers use it for thumbnails i do but i actually made some pictures for my daughter's bedroom and they've got woodland animals on them i'll show a little clip of those and I feel like this would go with that sort of like theme and yeah I just thought that was so cute for £10 and I haven't seen one as pretty as this like in any of the shops um I was even having a look on Dunham and none of those were really taking me they're just kind of like really generic so yeah really happy with that and then the final things that I got I got my little girl some shoes however I feel like they're gonna have to go back so these are 12 to 18 months and they are massive I feel like these would fit my toddler they were only two pounds so in the sale and they are really I'm not sure if you can see through the bag but they're a really pretty I'm a shoe and I just thought oh they would do for going you know nursery and just knocking about in um but I feel like I think both girls actually do take after me I've got the tiniest hands and tiniest feet so I feel like she'd have to be three before she fit in these uh, but yeah never mind again they were in the sale so i don't think they had a smaller size because so i think i would have ordered the smaller one um and then for her christmas box i've ordered this little set uh, i got it in the 12 to 18 months and i just thought it was so cute so you get the top and you get the bottoms for 10 pounds and i just thought how lovely are those i thought again perfect for nursery because i do like them wearing stuff that's comfortable i mean my eldest now she will go she picks what she wants to wear and to be honest she always ends up in leggings and like a really more like a party dress than like an everyday dress because she just loves to spin around and dance and yeah to be fair she always looks fab she always puts fab clothes out but i thought this would be really good for the baby with going nursery because it's just really really soft i can't explain to you how soft it is i know people do say a lot of line like oh it's super super soft but this is like baby clothes extra level softness and yeah i just thought that would be perfect and i've got it a little bit bigger because i feel like she can grow into it i don't mind rolling the bobs up on her and like rolling the sleeves up i even just love the tiny little wooden buttons just finished off really nicely and i definitely recommend asda for baby clothes as well as sainsbury's as well they do really beautiful baby clothes as well so yeah if you are struggling definitely check out the supermarkets in fact i even went to morrison's because um, we've got the Vodafone Very Rewards. Now, if you don't check out your like rewards with your like O2 and Vodafone, your phone contracts, I'd really recommend it because me and my husband have had a free meal deal each. So that was like seven pounds worth of food. That did us for dinner one night, to be honest. I couldn't be bothered to cook. It was a Friday night, I was like, stuff it. There's this, there's this deal, let's go and get it. So we ended up having that one night. I got free advent calendars for the girls. I have to be careful of what I'm saying. And then when I was in there, I was having a look around the baby section and they had some really pretty outfits for babies like floral ones in lilacs and pinks just gorgeous so I think I'm going to go back there for Christmas and have a look and I also got my eldest some unicorn slippers I can't say it too loud because she's downstairs <laughs> um, and she's been after those for ages and they were five pounds so yeah supermarkets brilliant prices for baby clothes if you've got anybody to buy for over Christmas um but yeah, that was it for this haul anyway. I really hope you enjoyed it. 
fingers crossed I can get back to filming a little bit more regularly. I'm hoping we're getting this illness all out of the way, ready for Christmas, and we'll all be fine at Christmas, because it's just the worst, isn't it, when you're feeling rough and you want to be like celebrating and going and seeing people and you end up stuck in but yeah fingers crossed we're getting it all out of the way um yeah that was it i hope you guys are having a lovely day i hope all your christmas shopping and everything's going okay i know that can be a little bit stressful we are going on well we're going tomorrow actually and fingers crossed we can get everything that we need to get um yeah it's a little bit tricky I always find it better going to the shops rather than shopping online because I need that inspiration. Do you know what I mean? I'll see something and I'll think of somebody. Whereas just like typing online, I do not know what to get for people. So yeah, fingers crossed. Go with my hubby. So I'll probably vlog a little bit of that. And then fingers crossed, I should have a haul um, with all the Christmas presents that we get in. And that might maybe give you guys some ideas as well if you're struggling. I know loads of people have been super organised though. And I've been getting it done early and i've got a few bits done but the majority of it has to be done tomorrow because if it's not then we're in a little bit of a mess because we don't have much time before christmas anyway i said i was going to round this up and i am going to do that now um yes i hope you enjoyed it this video please give it a big thumbs up if you did don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already i've got more christmas content coming if you want to see it don't forget to hit that subscribe and i'll see you in my next video thank you for watching Bye bye